Hello guys, it's me, Juniper, and huh, I don't usually do vlogs that much because, you know, I keep my personal life um, very secretive for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know. So basically what I want to talk about today is that last week, which was last Thursday, I came to see Icon for Hire. Um, it's not a very popular band, but if you look them up... Or if you saw my old YouTube video um, with their song in it, Off With Her Head, then, you know, that's them. So y you could look them up. I mean, they're a really good band. So a couple months back, I was looking at their tour dates because I really wanted to see them. And, you know, uh, they were playing nearby, Washington, D.C. And I was like, oh, they're playing in Washington, D.C., so I told my mom, and, you know, she said she'll see what we can do. And then a couple minutes later on Instagram, I was looking at their Instagram because, you know, I was scrolling through my feed, just, you know, liking everyone's pictures like I always do. Sometimes I scroll through my home feed and, like, double tap everything. So anyways, I, I came across their post saying... Well, talking about VIP access, and, you know, it was only $60, and I was thinking, hmm, why not? This isn't that expensive. So I told my mom and my stepdad about the VIP access. They said as long as I have the money to pay for it and all that other stuff, that I will be good to go. And luckily, I had enough money, so I paid for it, and... You know, I got VIP access. That was a couple months ago. So, Thursday, which was the concert day, my mom had to pick me up early from school, which was kind of a good thing because I didn't really want to go to PE class. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I just do not like PE class. But anyways, guys, so we went to D.C., I did my makeup and all that other stuff before I went to D.C. So we went to D.C. There was traffic, of course, which was very hard. And my stepdad's just like, you know what? Screw it. Guys, get out. You guys are walking to the um, place where they're going to have the concert. Not really going to say specifically what place because, you know, personal reasons. But yeah. Um, so we walked out. We ran over to what, where they were playing. And, you know, I had to wait in line for the VIP thing because we were early, but we thought we were late. So, yeah. So, when I got there, I surprisingly met a lead singer of a band, which I was in front of. And, you know, it was very unexpected. You know, it was... She already met Icon for Hire, and she was tell, talking to me all about them, saying how they were nice and you know, how they're really good and all that other stuff. So apparently this one girl's band is called Echo Hearts. Now, I haven't really looked them up on YouTube. Well, I have, but it said no results. But they do have a Facebook page. If you look up Echo Hearts Band, you know, shout out to them and also their Instagram, then, you know, I would highly recommend you would look them up for my good friend. But anyways, guys, um... You know, we talked, we chatted for a little bit, and we all of a sudden went downstairs to where they were going to play before everyone else did. And, you know, the lead singer Ariel all of a sudden came out. Well, before that, um, before that, I was handed a official VIP pass for um, their tour. And, of course, my stomach was turning, and I was very nervous. And, you know, when Ariel came... Well, it was the drummer that came out, well, actually, I think it was the guitarist, yeah, it was the guitarist, that came out first, and, you know, the, he greeted everyone, and at first, I'm just like, who's that dude? Because he was wearing a hoodie, and I couldn't see his really big mohawk, but yeah, <laughs> he was really nice, too, and then Ariel all of a sudden came out, and I, my heart literally stopped, like, and... You know, she was going down the line greeting people, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then, um, you know, the lead singer from the band I was talking to about, her name was Miranda, and she was like, uh, um, Maddie, calm down, calm down. And I'm like, I'm sorry, this is the first time actually meeting a singer. Oh 
my gosh. But yeah, I was freaking out and all the other stuff and, you know. So she was just walking by and then she turned to me. She was like, hi, sweetie. How are you? And then I'm just all here like, uh, 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 hi. Uh, well, it's nice meeting you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I said something like that, but I'm not so sure what I said because I was stuttering too much and I didn't even know what I was saying. So I had two questions to ask her, and then I said, um, I said, it's really happy to meet you, and, you know, I asked her two questions, like, what inspired her to, um, make, to, like, write songs, and her response was, you guys. And my second question was, um, how did she get known, and... At first she said singing in her room was one of the big things she did, but her big thing was she got discovered by Linkin Park. And then, um, you know, we hugged and then she went on to the next person and then I literally, my heart literally skipped a beat. Like I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And you know, Miranda was all cool and stuff and she was like, hi again. So then they're all like, being BFFs and stuff and you know they were talking for a long time and you know it was pretty cool that um Miranda knew you know Ariel for a long time like so I could know someone who talks to her a lot you know but yeah <laughs> so then after she greeted everyone met them stuff there were even some people who were like me um, you know, first meet and greet and stuff. They were all fangirling. I was trying not to. I was keeping it inside. I remembered when I first met a kind of an unpopular singer, but, you know, yeah. But this was my very first kind of famous singer, you know, yeah. And so, you know, I got a picture with Ariel. I can't show you guys that because, um, I can't show my face yet. So, yeah, um, the... Official VIP pass was the only thing I could show you guys, and also my signed posters. Uh, Ariel is right on the right, and you know, the guitarist is on the left. No, yeah. They also signed this, and Ariel also signed my shirt, which is right here. Oh, I also forgot to mention that she also complimented on my Melanie Martinez shirt, how she loves Melanie Martinez because I was wearing this to the concert since I had no other band shirt I should wear. I had Paramore and Melanie Martinez, and I chose her. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, so everyone else came in the concert room, you know, because the VIP thing was over and it was showtime. We also, they also had an opening act that I also loved. It was called Stitched Up Heart. There are bands, and oh my dog, the lead singer is so awesome. Like seriously, she's so nice too. She was also wearing the most kawaii Neko outfit ever. Like Nico Neko, I don't really care how to say it, but still, her outfit was so kawaii. God, camera, focus. There. But anyways, guys, the whole thing was crowded, and you know, we were headbanging and stuff. I'm a headbanger, so, you know. Yeah, and there were a bunch of punks there, and just a bunch of medalists and stuff, and I was all like, I was next to my friend Miranda, and, you know, just singing along, and then they were just all headbanging and stuff, those were the guitarists, and the, you know, I just gotta say something, the drumists and the guitarists were really hot, <laughs> but yeah, she was headbanging to the lead singer. And then she all of a sudden was, like, was on the stage, and then she was touching people like that and, you know, stuff. And then she grabbed my hand, and I, um, I couldn't breathe because, you know, you know how I am. Try not to fangirl again. <laughs> so, yeah. But they're also kind of an unpopular band, too. Stitched Up Heart. So, if you want to check them out, too, go ahead. My favorite song from them is City of Angels. So, yeah. Hint, I might make a music video of that too, or an animation. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. But anyways, Hikon for Hire came af shortly after, and, you know, they were all playing their songs and stuff. You know, I was screaming along, and yeah. I could show you a clip of what I posted on Instagram. If other people doesn't, if, if people don't have Instagram, then here's the clip now. So, here's my Instagram, LPS Juniper, if you want to follow it. 
and and then here's the video. Yeah, I was on Snapchat and videoed that at the right time. <laughs> I didn't even know confetti was about to explode everywhere. Yeah, that was a video I took on Snapchat and with the right time too. So anyways, guys, um, all of a sudden, she all of a sudden yelled, It's time to open the mosh pit! And then she started playing her song off with her head. And, and then, um... I didn't know what a mosh pit was, but then I soon figured it out that um, people create a circle and then two punks started wrestling and fighting with each other. And then I got punched in the nose. And then my nose started bleeding really badly. Well, not really badly. I mean, it was okay. I, I had to use my hand though to cover my nose up because I didn't have any tissues. So yeah, because I didn't expect a mosh pit. Like what the crap? And, you know, like, my stepdad had to push everyone in the, out of the way and even told someone I'll break you in half because he was trying to get to me. And, you know, he got to me and he's like, are you okay? And everyone else gathered around. They're just like, are you okay? Even quote-unquote security came and asked if I was okay. But, yeah, um, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was still rocking out. I didn't want to leave to go to the bathroom and clear out my nose because this was my favorite song ever. And, you know, I just stayed. And then after the concert, everyone was, like, com complimenting me and, like, saying I was the most medalist chick here. And, you know, I got popular after that. And, yeah, I got a lot of compliments. And then when I went to the, well, you know, the two of the bands went in the back of the room to sell merchandise. Well, well, like, first I went to Stitched Up Heart. And I took a pic with them, and the lead singer hugged me for literally 20 seconds. And then I'm just like, I think you gained a new fan. She was like, nope, you're my friend. Fans are just, fans are just stuff that cools the room. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm a singer's friend. And then I went to the Icon for Hire um, table, and they're just like, and then, you know, I walked over, and then, and then Ariel was just like, oh my gosh, sweetie, are you okay? And, you know, my mom was there, too, and, you know, she was like, yeah, she got a lot of compliments on her being the medalist chick around, and, you know, it was by the mosh pit. It was her first mosh pit, first beating, so, yeah, she's totally fine. My, my daughter here is, like, a bad, yeah, I can't really say that because I'm talking to people and it's not PG-13, but anyways, yeah, she, she complimented me about that, and, you know, she said, I'm glad, she, I'm glad that, um, you're okay, and you know, we had a little fist bump because I couldn't hug her because she said she was too sweaty. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that was my story of how I met Icon for Hire and Stitched Up Heart, and also a lead singer of Echo Hearts. And I also, when I got pizza at the end of the concert, like I went to a jumbo pizza slice place, the pizza was so huge, like holy crap. And everyone knows they eat tiny portions of food, because I don't even know why. And then... Ariel and the guitarist were walking by and, you know, I just opened the door. I'm just like, hey, Ariel. And then she turned. She's like, hi. And yeah, it was really great. I even saw her on the streets after that. But yeah, uh, that was the best night I have ever had. You know, no worries. You know, I had to let everything go that day. It was amazing. So I hope you enjoyed hearing me, um, hear me talk about how I met them and stuff and you should really go check out their music because they make really good music they're really nice and you know yeah check on I check out icon for hire stitched up heart and um echo hearts and yeah I'll see you guys later bye